Hi there, this is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And in today's video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this super cute little mini pillow box using the largest circle from our layering circles framelits. I originally saw this idea on Pinterest using a CD and I thought I would try that with our layering circles framelits and it turned out so cute. So let me show you how easy this is to make. Using our layering circles framelits, the largest circle, I cut out two circles from our Year of Cheer specialty designer series paper. This is a beautiful pattern with a copper and silver foil pattern. And these circles measure just a hair under three inches in diameter. Now I created a little template here using our grid paper and using these vertical and horizontal cross lines, I have drawn a little three inch square. So just kind of using my little um, measurements, the ruler on the grid paper, creating this three inch square. And that allows me to fit these circles right inside. And actually we're going to be making our marks on the back side of this paper. And I want to center that in there and you'll see that it is just a hair smaller than three inches. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a ruler and line that up right up to those center cross lines there. And we're going to go ahead and draw a line. You can use a pen or pencil. Either way, it's on the inside of this treat holder so your recipient won't see it. And then we're going to do the same thing with the horizontal cross line here. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing with the other piece. All right, so now what we're going to do is bring back that largest circle framelit, and I'm going to go ahead and make score lines. I'm going to line up this curve to meet from this line to this line. So where that line meets the edge of the circle. And I'm going to grab my stylus from my Simply Scored. I'm leaving a little bit of a gap to take into accommodation the ball tip on this stylus. And I'm going to hold that framelit in place and just score right along the edge of that framelit. I'll just go over it two or three times and then we'll have a little curved score line there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that all the way around. And you're gonna have a pattern that looks like this. So these curved lines are where our score lines are. And you'll see that they'll kind of form these points. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the second piece. Okay, so now that the scoring is done, on the back side or on the, the right side, we can go ahead and fold along those curved score lines. And I'm just gently bending on those curved score lines. And then you can also pinch it here at those points to get it kind of to start to form its shape. We'll do the same thing to the other piece. All right, now I'm gonna pick one of these pieces and on that curved section, I'm gonna use the half inch circle punch and just put a little punch out here. And that's gonna help us open that pillow box when you wanna take the treat out, okay? Now, I'm kind of pushing all the sides in where we bent them on. I'm gonna go ahead and basically nest those together. And you'll see that those should fit pretty nicely together. It's gonna to fight you a little bit, but that's normal. Now this is our top section where we have that little punch out. So I'm gonna start gluing from the bottom section. Just gonna go ahead and use liquid glue I'm going to apply liquid glue to that inside flap. And try to press that into place. Wanting to make sure that edge to edge, these are lining up. And because this is a specialty designer series paper with some foil, that glue is going to take just a little bit longer to stick. So I'm just applying pressure here, making sure that it's adhered all the way to the ends because that's where these pillow boxes like to try to separate. All right, now the other thing we can do because we've only done the one bottom flap is we can open this up, just press down from the inside. 
is the only time we can do this step. There we go. All right, so then I'm just gonna go on, start with one side. Again, this is our top. Go ahead and put some liquid glue on the inside flap. Press that into place. Again, paying close attention to those outside corners. And we'll do the same thing on the other side flap. And this is the last side that we're gonna adhere down. We'll leave the top open so you can get the chocolate in and out. And I think I forgot to mention, two Dove Promises will fit in here pretty nicely. Now you can experiment with the size of the pillow box just by whatever size circle you use. Um, if you wanted to use something like a CD or a dinner plate or something like that, if you wanted to make a really big pillow box, you would simply trace that plate or the CD first and then use your scissors to just cut the circles. Then all the other steps would be the same. All right, so we've adhered those two sides. I'm gonna go ahead and open this top. I'm gonna pop this out real quick and just press those sides from the inside just to make sure that they're nice and adhered. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put in two Dove Promise chocolates and have them kind of sandwiched together with the flat sides against each other. I'll slide that right inside the box. You wanna be gentle here because it is a very snug fit. Just make sure that when you fold these flaps down that you're folding right on that curved line because it'll have a tendency to want to fold in other places. So there we go. Oh, it's so cute. All right, now I'm gonna tie a little knot using our silver metallic edge ribbon. And we're just gonna tie that. I'm leaving the open edge at the top here, but I'm gonna tie the ribbon around the middle. And there we go, our super cute mini pillow box using the largest layering circles framelit. Super cute, super easy, and what a really sweet treat to put on your dinner table or to give as random acts of kindness. I just love this little pillow box. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss my next video tutorial. If you're interested in purchasing any of the products I used today, they'll be linked in the description. I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post so that you can see all project details. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my blog updates and my newsletter. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.